Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a quick update then on this morning's market. So Bitcoin's pumped up again uh, beyond the major resistance uh, and we're still, I suppose, above it. This is uh, the four hourly chart where we see quite a lot of bearish divergence playing out on the money flow and on the RSI. So, you know, normally you would expect to see a, 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 a bit of a pullback at this point now. We had bearish divergence up until this level. Now it did pull back after pumping back up again we still continue with the bearish divergence so you know this is one of those moments in time where something is so bullish that uh, it's just going to keep going until it probably has a bit of a a crash to be honest with you and when i say crash i don't mean that it's going to be like horrendous you know significant crash all the way down into the 30s into the 20s in one day I'm not saying that, um, but one, what, what I am saying is that it's it's not it's basically you're not adhering to uh, the normal rules of technical analysis, which basically means that it is really bullish until proven otherwise. So it makes it harder to try and navigate and spot particular tops. Now this resistance uh, is not a nothing area. This uh, of, uh, 51,800. That was basically where I would consider this major resistance to uh, have been respected. If we look at the four hourly, we did have one, two, three, four candle bodies sort of using that as resistance. We had one pump up over the overnight, came down to actually use it as, as support, and we're currently sitting in, uh, as a support again. So, I mean, this chart is like super turbo bullish, but with the loss of momentum. Um, it's becoming higher and higher risk, uh, which is why I basically did some scalps on that dump. So we had that pullback. I was saying on the Telegram, maybe this would be a place to buy the dip. Um, we shot straight back up to a new local high, literally within a 24-hour period, and even then some. So it is a buy the dip market, but until another dip comes, that was the trade that I took and now I'm out of the trade. It wasn't even a Bitcoin trade that I took. I took trades in the altcoins that you see up here rather than the Bitcoin. So if we think about altcoins, we're still at this same sort of annoying area, really, which is a uh, symmetrical triangle, basically, on the Bitcoin dominance chart with a pump signal on the daily. So every now and then we look like we're going to get rejected and then we start to move back up above it. And then we look like we're going to get rejected and then move back above it. At the moment, we're above it with the pump signal, so it does bode well for the idea of a breakout. And a breakout can happen in a pump or a dump for this chart. It's kind of price neutral. It's more about, obviously, dominance of market cap, really. So we're not really looking at this as, oh, we're breaking out from here. Bitcoin's going to go up and leave altcoins behind. It could be that Bitcoin's going to go down and altcoins go down faster. I mean, I'm all in favour of continuation in this market, um, especially seeing the uh, the S&P spring back up to 5,000 uh, and probably go back. I, I actually think it's going to go on a little bit further. And again, this chart is bullish beyond all recognition as well. The Dixie, again, you know, Dixie is still hanging around in this no man's land um, waiting to get the continuation. And even when it does, the rejection is going to be around 107.4 at at best still a good looking chart not got the pump signal on this one yet so we can easily come down and retest the lower zones before we spring back up which makes it more likely that we do have continuation for bitcoin altcoin s p nasdaq and everybody else you know before we see that move in the dollar but i have to say like you know if you're a trader you trade you're trying to make profit right so yeah, we've made some more profit, made some more profit yesterday. It wasn't much, about 5%, still still not too bad. But like, if we do start coming down on this chart, the first area I'll be looking for would be another retest of that Bollinger Band Center. It's only a pullback of around 3%. But if that were to get lost, uh, we are talking 7 to 10 to maybe even 14, and still maintain bullish positions on the chart for you know, epic by the dips, really. If we take it to a daily, we get other areas that we could look at. And they're all basically suggesting bullish until proven otherwise. There's nothing changed on this chart. We, we are looking at this to pull back at some point. First area is going to be 6% 10 exponential. Uh, second area is 10% 21 exponential. 
Maybe the 50 exponential ca uh, catches it 14%. So these all correspond to the four hourly. And then the major area would be all the way down around 26%, sorry, 28%, which currently points to around $37,000. Just, just basically back down to the bottom of that range. Now, there is no uh, loss of momentum over here on the daily. Uh, the daily's RSI is basically uh, striding higher and higher and higher. Uh, no real divergence, not really. Um, we've, we've managed to double top at this peak over here. Technically, I suppose it is divergence, um, but um, but I wouldn't get particularly concerned about this as a, as a, as a read on its own. The main thing, I suppose, uh, the thing that scares me the most is that uh, the, the, the weekly is going to continue to print these bearish divergence drives on the money flow index. And um, that that is a concern of mine. And uh, with that, it's it's enough to you know express constant caution over the, every significant move up that we get on Bitcoin, because a move like this, uh, seeing this reminds me of we see this in the end of the last, well, towards the end of the last bull market, really, uh, where we did have an exuberant move up. We found a significant peak, similar to this significant peak, and then we did continue to go up, uh, and we developed many drives of bearish divergence all the way to this area where we finally did. Well, I suppose you could call it a capitulation or a dump or a crash. So the more likely um, we are going to get a savage move down. Um, based on this weekly that that's that's what this says to me so every dip can be bought to an extent um but the larger picture suggests bigger pullback and you know it's not for me to say everybody's wrong i don't believe that you know i i, I have to stick to my own analysis and yeah i bought that dip the other day because it was based around cpi rather than its own chart uh, and uh, and the CPI, you know, it is what it is. It's it's, it's nothing special. Um, it was just an opportunity to buy, not just in Bitcoin but in S and P and everything. But there is going to be a time when the chart actually starts to, uh, you know, start, start, starts to cave in to its own demands. Um, and uh, I, you know, I don't want to ruin everybody's fun, but you know, scalping, small trades, they're okay. Um, but we are on borrowed time, from what I can see, based on the four hourly and the weekly. It's only really the daily that's saying I can keep going higher and higher and higher, and obviously everybody else on Twitter. Now, if we do dump uh, or crash, and I say, you know, I'm not saying it like we are going to do that, but let's just say we start to pull back. We might start to see a spring take place in altcoins, the operative word being might. I'm all up for altcoins moving up from here. I have sold all my positions in uh, all of them, but HBAR is the only one I've got left. They all, these all basically filled the, uh, the the first take profit. And then from looking at the charts this morning, I just took profit on the rest of them, really. I didn't really want to be hanging around in altcoins too much when the warning signs are still present, to be, to be fair with you. Just got to be grateful for the profit that we get, really. And uh, the, the main plan still remains the same. I do expect a much uh, deeper consolidation at some point soon. And with that, I don't want to get too complacent and hanging around in any position for any long period of time. You know, whatever I say on these videos is what I believe. They are the trading setups that I do <laughs> do myself. I'm not just saying it for no reason. My main plan has not changed whatsoever. I am going to be looking to enter into this market quite heavily after a consolidation. But until we see a consolidation, the best thing I can do would be to try and make little scalps on particular pullbacks, provided that all the other markets, whether it's, uh, you know, Forex and indices match up with this um, and, 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 you know, snag a few percent here and there and wherever. The bigger picture still presents a larger pullback, a larger consolidation uh, that will take several months to complete. And that from that point, you can, I'd say, feel quite comfortable in entering into crypto for, you know, serious positions that can take maybe a year or more to complete and give several hundred percent back rather than these little scalpy trades that we're doing right now, which feels like a train dodge. It all feels like a train dodge to me. Either way, um, there is opportunity in this market on the shorter term time frames, but you know, my main goal is to wait for this consolidation to begin, not get too complacent on each one of these moves up, 
we do have bearish divergence for hourly. We do have it on weekly. So you know, short term and higher term timeframes do point to, to to downside coming, and with the weekly pointing in such a savage direction, um, it's counter to what everybody thinks. And you have a little glance around Twitter, and obviously everybody's bullish, and this chart is bullish. But uh, people say, imagine waiting for 38k. Well, I, I don't need to imagine that. That's my reality. <laughs> and it's not because I want a Bitcoin to come down to 38k so I can buy it lower. I still got plenty of Bitcoin, believe me, that I picked up around 21,000. And I'm not going to get shaken out of those positions. But, you know, when it comes to safety, security, your confidence in picking up other coins uh, in what I would consider to be a bull market, um, having Bitcoin at these extreme reads, um, pointing in one particular uh, direction, which is, to be honest with you, is down. That's what the charts say. Whether FOMO or Captain Noobmaster props the market up is a different story. But what I'm looking at is the chart does demand downside, demands it. And it's only a matter of time before the chart wins because charts always win in the end. And uh, there is a very clear evidence to say that we will come down into the 30s again uh, and and maybe a little bit more now it's not because i'm a perma bear i'm not i'm an absolute far from that i've been bullish for months and months and months and i've been taking profit all the way up to these significant highs and most of the old coins that i've taken profit on prior to uh, what these little scalpy trades that i did yesterday i took profit at higher areas than they are now so you know i want more upside i want obviously i'm going to get more upside at some point but Back to the, the the main plan: wait, patience, small scalps where 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 necessary, but generally patience uh, is going to pay off here because the chart will win, and we are pointing to consolidation. That's all I'm saying. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today. Might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. It's going to happen. Unfortunately, it will happen. And uh, you know, with me being married to that particular setup, because it is a setup, I have to make sure that I have available cash for later on down the line. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. Nothing much more to say. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.